Today, Lord, it's about your church taking right posture and humility and reflection and repentance and holiness as you've equalized us today to lift up only your name. I and we give you praise in all of the honor. You are God, the one we live for. We must always remember the United States of America did not create religious liberty. Religious liberty created the United States of America. We're watching our country be divided by anger. We're looking at people who are judging states and countries because they choose to unite in prayer. We will never apologize for prayer in our state and in our country. Lord, we also lift up our president, Barack Obama. We pray that you will continue to lift him up. Lord, we're asking you to surround her now with your presence, God, with a fresh, fresh revelation of the work of the cross and the power of the resurrection. And I see glory falling in this place. And we know that we're not worthy, but we ask you for forgiveness. We ask you and beg you for your mercy. If my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. God gives grace to the humble, and God resists the proud. We must humble ourselves. Jesus, would you send your spirit here? Would you send a spirit of humility? But God, with brokenness, Lord God. We are here. What we need is an inward change of heart if we're going to see the corruption of our land and the division in our land and the turmoil in our land change and the soul of America be healed. Church, it's our responsibility. Sound the alarm, awaken the watch, open their ears, let their voices be loud. Tear down the denominational walls, tear down the racial walls, tear down those walls that has driven families apart. Families are the foundation of the kingdom, and when the family comes together, we can put the world back together again. So God, we repent for the neglecting of the care of the widows, the elderly, and the seniors. Within a generation, the world's greatest lender is now the world's greatest debtor, and I ask God right now for forgiveness. We'll anoint the older generation to reach out to the young, and that the younger generation will reach out to you, Lord. We need these warriors combined together, Lord, that they may go forth as a mighty army. Father God, I pray that your people, all people, far and near, are reconciled back to you, God. We need you. We need you here. We need you now. Dear Lord, I want to pray for my generation, dear God, because the um, older generation is saying that we are the future, dear Lord. And if, if this future goes on as it is today, it's going to be scary. And we have a cancer in America. We have a sickness and a disease in America because people have gone from their moral moorings and bearings. We need to get back to our first love. It's not those who we oppose, but it's the church first that must take right posture to be the ministers of reconciliation. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. voices to the God of heaven. We beseech you, O oh God, rend the heavens and come crashing down. God, forgive America for allowing human trafficking in our borders. Father, we lift you up, God, because you are holy, holy, holy God. We repent for the shedding of innocent blood, innocent blood in our mother's wombs, innocent blood because our fathers have not taken their positions in the home. And Lord, right now, Of Jesus Christ. We declare that today marks the end of the reign of sin 